Today on Props 88, we're going to make our little R2-D2. Program a little R2-D2, 8x8 matrix. All right, let's Props 88 this. guys, how you doing? This is Dave with Props 88. We're, today, this is our little 8x8 matrix. I call it the R2-D2. Look really closely. Right there. Has five data pins on it. Very simple to program. I'll show you how to do it. And we're going to make each one of these light up randomly. So let's get into the code. Okay guys, but first, let me show you the pinouts and what, how we have uh, it connected to the wires. So, let me put the lights back on. I just want to show how nice and bright that is. Beautiful colors on there. All right, let's get the lights back on. Here's our matrix. Now, turn it around. And you see over here, there's two sides. We have an in and an out. We're going to focus on the in. Now, we'll take this. Simple wires over here. Let me hold this for you. Oops, there we go. You have, all it is is five wires. You have red here, five volts. Brown, black, our data in cable, white. We have a CS cable, which is blue, and the clock, which is green. That's it, five wires. That's how we have it plugged in. And then I started, obviously, they, this little guy comes with pins. We just started them right in over here. That's it, really simple. And you can, another video I'll show you, we can connect here and go out to another one. So it's really cool and you can all link them together. But anyway, that's it, that's it, five little wires. Now, like I said, let's get back to the code. Welcome to the code, guys. This is our R2-D2 panel code. Okay, let's start out with all the pins. We have three pins here, the data pin, and the CS pin, and the clock pin. I have them 12, 11, 10, and you'll see in the wiring that they match that, the data pin, the CS pin, and the clock pin. Now, obviously the other two pins that we use are five volts and ground. Now, the uh, uh, matrix eight by eight is eight rows, with eight columns and it's one device. You can have multiple devices if you wanted to, but in our demo here, it's just one device. We initialize the LED control over here. And then in our setup, very simple. We do the random seed. We initialize the random seed generator. We do our Arduino housekeeping here with the serial begin. And in the matrix begin, this is where we initialize our LED matrix. Next, our main loop. This goes on and on forever. We generate the random matrix. This lights up the dots or the LEDs on the random on the uh, matrix randomly. And then I put a delay. I even do a generate a uh, random state of the the uh, delay, so it can actually every single time it goes to the loop, it'll actually delay a, a random number too. So it'll always be different. So this entire thing is random. And again, all this code is on our is always free for our Patreon members. So that's it, basically. One line of code, that's it. Generate random matrix. That'll do everything. And all this is, is a delay. Now, if you don't put this delay in, it'll just go boom, it'll be really fast. But that's all there is to it. One line of code. Okay, guys, I hope you learned a lot today about how easy it is to use this little 8x8 matrix. And I have links for Amazon down in the description below. Also, if you look over here, you can see we. this is one of our Star Wars panels we've created as two. Uh, LED matrix is in there and the cool thing is if you see it flashing like this now you add another one if you want to add two of these to your uh, Star Wars panels or if you put two of them just above each other with the same pins facing the exact same way the lights would actually rotate uh, there they light up exactly randomly almost identical but by doing this taking this one and just rotating it this now you have two different LEDs random sequence generators just by rotating. So one can be like this and one like this. You can have a whole bunch of different ones. But another good thing too, is you can see what we made. We made a regular panel just like this. And this panel, just to give you an example of what it looks like in a finished product. So it really does make uh, any panel come alive. But hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.